this chocolate bar, it is good. It's not like one of those, mm, you know, like it actually tastes really good. I don't know how they make it taste so good. It better taste good though because they're expensive too. <laughs> channel my name is Alexia Nicole and I'm living my life by design so you all asked and y'all know I like to produce whatever y'all ask for so this is my daily keto vlog so I'm sure that this video has probably attracted people that do not usually visit my channel so if you're new to my channel hi welcome please make sure that you go ahead and subscribe because you're gonna enjoy it you're gonna like it and I want to see you come back so yeah, we're going to be doing my daily keto vlog, what I eat in a day type of style video. Um, but before we eat anything, I need to go ahead and brush my teeth. I just rolled over out of bed, threw on my workout clothes, but I can't do anything in the morning before I wash my face and brush my teeth. So my face is already washed, but now it's time to brush my teeth. Um, so yeah, give me a moment. Just before y'all ask, because I know my toothpaste is funny looking, it's called um, Just Jack's Organic Toothpaste. I, I was introduced to it on Instagram. So this is the one that I use in the morning. It's just the original formula. And then I also have the activated charcoal that I use at night. So um, I honestly already had pretty white teeth, but I just wanted them whiter. And just to use something that's not as hard on my teeth. So I've been using that for about a month and I like it. It doesn't really give like that minty taste after you brush your teeth like most toothpaste does. It's kind of more of like salty. Um, my mother would never let us eat breakfast or eat anything. Not even a, a swig of orange juice before we brushed our teeth. She always used to say, say you have to brush your teeth before you eat or you're going to be swallowing that nasty plaque. And I don't know if that was true or not, but it's always stuck with me. So I don't eat anything <laughs> before I brush my teeth. But anyway, so we're ready to start the day. We're ready to get this food, keto food vlog going. So let's go. All right, first things first. We do our morning supplements, vitamins, more vitamins, more vitamins. I've already taken some of them. So I'll just take those two. No, on keto, you're not supposed to have sugar, but I'm not going to count vitamins because these have three grams and four grams of carbs. These two grams of sugar, three grams of carbs. And this one, three grams of sugar, four grams of carbs. So that's almost all my carbs for the day if you're living by the 20 uh, net carbs for a day lifestyle. But we don't include the cat vitamins. At least I don't. Good morning, vlog. This looks his mother. All right. Next, we have our apple cider vinegar with the mother. I like to take a shot of this in the morning and at night. So sometimes I just take a straight shot. Sometimes I dilute it. This morning, we're going to dilute. And I just do like a cat full. Maybe. Maybe a little more. start our day it is what time is it it's 10 31 a.m. I do the intermittent fasting so I eat between 12 p.m. and 8 p.m. those are my feeding hours the rest of the time I fast meaning I only intake calorie zero calorie beverages foods no foods are zero calorie from my understanding so just beverages I'll drink water coffee, tea, that's really it. So what I'm gonna do now is I like to do all this stuff early in the morning and then go get a workout 
day of being used by the time I'm done working out, depending on what time I get my day started, it'll be time to eat. So let's go work out. Okay, so since today is a park workout, I can't really vlog how my active app works, but I do want to show y'all because I know I've talked about it in a few videos. Um, so I'm just going to kind of give y'all like a little preview of today's workout, then I'm going to go run. All right, so we're going to go into my active app, open that up, and it just has all kind of programs that you can do or work categories that you can pick from whatever it is that you like to do um but i have been doing this cross train to 5k program with meg and i am on week four day uh workout number 18 so you just press play What's up, it's Meg here, and we are on day 27 of the Intermediate 5K Training Plan. Really good job yesterday on that cross training. I know that's a tough workout, so I'm not surprised if you're a little bit sore today. And that's okay, because today we have a 35-minute run just to build endurance. So if you are sore, you're going to be able to get some of that lactic acid out to feel a little bit better. So 35 minutes today, and this is how it's broken down. First 10 minutes is going to be a super light jog. Then the next 20 minutes is a concerted effort at your average mile pace. The last five minutes are going to be held at a tempo pace. And this is basically simulating how you would run your race. So take notes today and definitely do these intervals like I tell you to do them. So that's just a little preview of the app and kind of how it works. So basically it's all audio. There's no video. All the trainers are super certified with all these different certifications and they really 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 motivate you throughout the workout it's not like just okay run 10 minutes you know they're still talking they're still motivating they're correcting posture that you know are, are commonly bad posture mistakes like they're doing all kind of things just like you had a real personal trainer right there by your side um, with my lifestyle I've always wanted a personal trainer but I don't really have the time or the schedule to be able to balance going every Monday, Wednesday, Friday type of deal. So with this app, I just turn it on when I'm ready to go and I go and it gives me a good variety of workouts. It's not redundant. I'm working different body muscles and I'm training for whatever it is that I want to train for. So um, I'm out here at the beautiful park. It's a little nippy outside. I should have brought a jacket. Let me show y'all my view and then I'm going to start my 35 minute workout. This is the park and it goes all the way back down there. All right, y'all. See you when I'm done running. All right, y'all. So I am back from my workout and I am like super hungry. So I'm gonna show y'all what I normally eat as my first meal of the day. I take this on all my trips with me. Um, I just, it's, it's good, it's healthy. It gives you all the nutrients you need. So this is my version of a chia seed pudding. All right, let's get right into it. All right, so it just depends on what I have. I either use almond milk, coconut milk, a mix of both, whatever you wanna do. Um, so I usually do a cup of milk or half a cup of milk, depending on how much you wanna make. Um, this usually, a cup of milk will usually get me about two servings of the pudding so I can eat it one morning and then the next morning um, and then I put in a, bit, uh, a little bit of almond butter this is the new brand this is a flavored one uh, but whatever almond butter you have can work um, just make sure it doesn't have a lot of sugar in it clearly because keto you're technically supposed to have no sugars this one has two grams of sugar five carbs and three grams of fiber which gives you two net carbs and then it has the two grams of sugar in there um, i don't really measure this out i just kind of put a little bit to my liking there and then i also will add a little bit of mct oil this says xct oil but it's mct oil it's the bulletproof brand i got this from amazon 
and it's MCT oil, I just do like a capful. MCT oil is derived from coconut oils. It's just another source of healthy fats. I put that on salads, I put it in um, coffees, teas, you know, just whatever it is that I'm drinking for the, or eating, like I can pretty much add it into anything just to give me that fat that I need in my diet. Healthy fat, of course. Um, so let's get to the good stuff. Have chia seeds. So I will do about what is this? These don't have actual measurements on there. It just says regular. Usually do about two tablespoons or so of the chia seeds. Um, these are different measurement things that I usually use, but I'm just kind of eyeing it. That looks about right. And then I'll do flax seeds. And then I'm also gonna add hemp hearts. And this is just to kind of give me all that extra nutrients that I need for the day. Um, I'm just kind of sprinkling a little bit of that. Not nearly as much as I do for the chia seed because it's a chia seed pudding. So you want, you want that in there mostly. And then a little bit of sprinkle of the flax seed also. And you can look up all of these ingredients to see you know, the benefits that they have on the body. Um, what I did forget was my liquid stevia, so I'm just going to add some powdered, just some regular stevia in the raw. I usually have a liquid one, but I left it in my other lunch kit in New York. And then I also add a little bit of vanilla flavoring, just to kind of give it a little bit more flavor. Yeah. Then I mix this all together. And I mean, depending on what consistency you want your chia seed pudding to be is how much chia seed you put in there. Um, so you're going to let it sit. I usually let mine sit overnight. I mean, but you can still let it sit for a couple of hours. Like if I would have made it this morning and then worked out two or three hours, it would have still been good. Um, it kind of turns into like a pudding consistency. I'm going to mix this. And then I'll just put it in the fridge. So in preparation for today's video, I pre-made one last night. So I'm gonna add my toppings. Have a little bit of berries. Excuse the rolling noise in the background, it's my mother painting. And a little bit of pecans. Now with the berries, you can add pretty much any form of berry, but you have to be really light with them. Strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries. That's really it on the fruit front. You can't have too much because fruit has a lot of sugar in it. And then with the nuts, most people will tell you you can kind of eat any kind of nuts with keto. Peanuts are really high in carbs. Cashews are really high in carbs. Um, that for sure you can just kind of Google and it will give you a list of how many carbs are in, you know, uh, a cup of pecans. So I stick to pecans, walnuts, or macadamia nuts for the nuts that I'll intake. Um, and then some people like to top it off with maybe a little coconut shaving or um, whatever else you want to do. But I just keep it simple. A little bit of berries and a little bit of nuts, and that's it. Let's give it a try. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And that's meal number one for the day. guys so don't forget your water intake for the day as well um, I like to keep water bottles all around me just so when I get a little a little dry throat I can just chug so this is bottle number two for the day I tried this is what I think one liter I try to do at least three of these for the day some days I succeed some days I fail horribly um, but yeah water 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 okay thank you Thank you. All right, sorry about the wait today. What can I get for you? 
Hi, can I have an iced chai tea latte? Can you do that with the chai tea bag, sugar-free um, cinnamon, and heavy um, heavy cream? And I want a grande. All right, no problem. That'll be it. Yeah, so you wanted the hot chai tea, the organic chai, and you wanted it iced, correct? Yes. Okay, so it's gonna take about five minutes to let that steep. Is that alright? Yeah, that's fine. Do you want to make um sugar free cinnamon dolce and heavy cream? Okay. There you are. Thank and you. So the ice in there, I shook it so it's melted down. So it's okay. Cold. That's fine. Thank you. Alright. It's good. I feel like they might have put a little bit too much heavy cream in this one. Can y'all hear my, my ghetto music? <laughs> um, it's good. I do think they put maybe just a tad bit of too much heavy cream in here. So sometimes you have to kind of tell them to be light. Um, I should have said that, but I didn't. Anyways, I think I'm actually hungry. So I'm going to go over to Salada and get a salad because it's only, it's 4.15 and I stopped eating at 8. So we'll see what this drink and a salad does for me. If I'm still hungry later, then I'll eat again. If not, I won't. You know, that's, that's, that's really it. I think I'm so hungry because I didn't have my coffee this morning. I don't know if I mentioned that to y'all, but usually in the morning when I have my um usually in the morning when i drink the acb the apple cider vinegar i'll have coffee or tea right after that and i didn't do that this morning for whatever reason so that actually usually stretches me out for a longer period of time but i did have my chia seed pudding at normal time but i'm just feeling a little hungrier than i usually am around this time so i'm just gonna go ahead and eat you know there is no rule to how many meals you eat a day of course you want to stay in inside your your caloric intake for the day whatever that may be that's all going to be based on your your body measurements um i'm not too strict with the measurements because i just simply can't keep up i just make sure that i'm not intaking too many carbs too many sugars um i kind of counted out in my head how many net carbs i'm having for the day sometimes i'm under 20 sometimes i'm exactly at 20 and sometimes i go over um, at this point, you know, I'm at the point where I'm doing anywhere probably between 20 to 30 net carbs a day, which still is nothing when you think about carbs. <laughs> Anyways, let me go I'm get this. Out. I'm going to do a small salad. Back in the day, I always used to do a wrap, but no carbs, so small salad it is. Hi, can I have tomatoes, cucumbers, mushrooms? Um, let me have a little bit of eggs. Um, I'll do some feta cheese. That's that. And then can I have regular buttermilk? Yeah. It has that little after kick. <laughs> um, I will do shrimp. And avocado. Same. Yeah. A little bacon is good. Um, a little walnuts, please. To go, please. So I got my salad from Salada. Um, God, I really wanted corn. <laughs> I love corn. And corn is a no-no on keto because it is high in carbs. Um, but one misconception about keto is that a lot of people just think you eat fats and protein all day. And you don't throw in any veggies. And that is 
far, far, far from the truth. I don't know any diet that's going to tell you not to eat veggies. So you can definitely have salads. Um, what they normally say is, you know, just anything that's like a, a leafy green. So they have broccoli, but I don't like broccoli and salads. But, you know, you can have... Um, you can have lettuce, you can have spinach, you can have asparagus, you can have anything that's like leafy and green. You know, all of that stuff you can have. That's basically where your carbs should be coming from because you have carbs in those items. But um, they're good for you, they're healthy, and they're low in carbs. So you don't want to just eat, you know, chicken all day long or... You know, people are like, oh, you can have bacon, 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 and eggs. You know, bacon, 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 bacon. That's what everybody, I was flying with somebody the other day, and they were like, oh, you're on that bacon diet. And I was like, girl, I'm not on no bacon diet. Like, I don't care what nobody says. It's not healthy to intake that level of bacon all day long. Do I eat bacon? Yes. Am I a heavy pork eater? Not really. I like bacon. Um... <laughs> I like bacon, but I limit myself to it. I don't do the eggs, avocado, and bacon thing every morning, as y'all can see. Most people start keto off that way because it's a it's an easy way to get into it. Um, I probably did that for the first week and a half, and then I was over it very quickly. Um, but you can still have those items. I don't want to eat bacon every day, multiple times a day. I don't want to wrap everything in bacon. That's just... it's. No, it's, it's not healthy. Even though you can have bacon on the keto diet, it's still not healthy to intake that t level of bacon every day. As far as dressings, um, it's always probably better to buy your own dressings. But you can have like full fat ranch dressing, um, Caesar dressing, or like the two main dressings that they really um, suggest to get you those, um, to get your fat levels in. Um, balsamic vinaigrette, which is used to be my really go-to, um, depending on, you know, who's made it, it can be too sweet, definitely way too sweet, too much sugar in it, so I just stay away from it now, and I either go with just regular old oil and vinegar, ranch, I'm not really a Caesar girl, so most times I just go with ranch, um, but yeah, I'm about to go eat this salad and enjoy it. All right, y'all, so it's swiftly approaching 8 p.m., I had to 7.54 and that means our caloric intake window for the day is coming to an end. But one thing about me, I have the craziest sweet tooth craving. So, I just want to share this wonderful gift of Keto Bark <laughs> Chalk Zero. I found this on, of course, Amazon where I find everything. I literally just typed in keto snacks on there and a whole bunch of stuff came up and this was one of them. So it is a chocolate bar and this one is actually um, milk chocolate. So if y'all can see that milk chocolate, no sugar added, chalk zero keto bark and this has hazelnuts in it. Um, and in each box it's six individual um, chocolate bars and on the back here, it reads gluten-free, soy-free, sugar, alcohol-free, all natural and ethically sourced. Um, a chocolate with a crunch, a chocolate without sugar, and a chocolate for you. Sweetened exclusively with monk fruit and soluble fiber. Our bark uses no sugar alcohols, no artificial sweeteners, makes a low-carb treat for your healthier lifestyle. So in here, it has... Um, we want to talk carbs, of course, net carbs. Total carbs are 11 grams, but total dietary fiber is 8 grams. So to get your net carbs, you subtract your fiber from your carbs, your total carbs. So that leaves us with three net carbs, and it has one gram of sugar. Um, so anyways, basically, it is the best thing popping on a keto diet when you have a crazy sweet tooth like I do. So I usually, one of these a day, y'all. And not even, not every day, because some days I'm really going and I don't even, you know, I make it through the day without it. But um, tonight I'm not. So I haven't eaten anything since I had the salad earlier. 
and y'all can remind yourselves of whatever time I had that salad. I think it was what about 4:30 when I had that salad. And it's going on 8 p.m. and I'm still not hungry. And that's normal. Like I was saying, I usually have about two meals a day. Just got hungrier earlier in the day than I usually do. I usually have my last meal about 6 p.m. Um, so I still have a little bit of water left to drink because I didn't bring it with me when I went out on the road. Um, and yeah, that'll definitely be about it. Now this though... <laughs> Let me tell you, this chocolate bar, it is good. It's not like one of those, mm, you know, like it actually tastes really good. I don't know how they make it taste so good. It better taste good though because they're expensive too. So for the box, for this box, I ordered on Amazon six, yeah, six chocolate bars come in here. I want to say it's $15 per box. Don't tell my mama. <laughs> Even though she watches these. Like, isn't that crazy? But, I mean, it's honestly like it's a saving grace for me. Because if I didn't have these, I would be snacking on every other sweet that popped in my face. Oh, mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's it right here, y'all. This is it. So if you're worried about keto, worried about that sweet tooth that, that that you don't know if you can overcome, order some of these and you will be okay. Anywho, just to go ahead and end out the vlog, I will throw some numbers out for you all. So yeah, I know some of you all have been with me since I started the keto journey. It's been a solid three months. I started the week of July 23rd. It is now, today's date is October 25th. And I have lost 25 pounds. And I'm very proud to say that, like, it might not look like it, you know, a lot of people say they can kind of see it in my face, um, all that good stuff. I do see it in my face, I kind of see it, like, in my uh, upper body, my arms aren't as chubby, and definitely my midsection, you know, it's slimming and trimming, it ain't, it ain't abbed up, rocked up, you know, solid or nothing like that. Uh, actually, you know what, I'm lying, I see it all over, I do, um, cause I've, I've dropped a few pant sizes, not a few, like a size and a half. When I first started keto, I was definitely in like either a size 12 pants or a uh, 31 waist, closer to maybe even a 32. Now I can probably wiggle my way into a size 8, definitely wear a size 10 with a little gap for extra room um, or a 30 waist. So that's an improvement, um, but I still want to lose about 10 more pounds. Um, and I think I will be comfortable at that weight. I honestly think I'm back to the weight that I was when I went to um, initial training last June, June of 2017, initial training for flight attendant. I think I'm right about that weight that I was. And even at that point, I was still like, oh, I still want to lose a few more pounds. So I'm just going to keep going, um, be diligent, be patient. Um, the weight has definitely started to drop off a lot slower than it was in the beginning, but I think that's really, it's good. That's a good sign because I'm maintaining that, you know, it's not like, um, I'm dropping it and then every time that I have a, a cheat snack or a cheat meal or whatever, you know, I'm putting the weight right back on. No, I'm, I'm maintaining my weight loss. Even if I'm just losing a few ounces here or there, it's still going down. I'm not in a rush to get to any certain size. You know, I just, I want to do it the right way so it can last. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this keto daily food vlog thing that I've done today. Um, I do still want to go in and do a how to get your body into ketosis, like a three-day vlog, just to show y'all everything I eat. I'll probably start it off not in ketosis and then give my body three days to actually get into ketosis but I need to be in the right mental frame to do that <laughs> um but yeah that's about it I hope you enjoyed it until next time oh I don't even think I told you all for my my loyals out there my day ones the ones that watch all the time I am actually on a social media break right now but I know that I promised you all this video so you know, I I, I want to give y'all what you asked for. I don't want y'all saying, Alexa, you said and then you didn't do. So this will probably be the last video that y'all see from me 
until I want to say Vlogmas, December 1st. But I might come back a little sooner than that, just just depending on what all I have going on. Just take this time to catch up on my vlogs. I see a lot of you all are getting CJOs, contingent um, job offers with the airline that's near and dear to my heart. So big congratulations to you all. Take this time to go and watch my playlist of my training videos from day one of training to graduation. Prepare yourselves. Watch my other vlogs just to see what the daily life of a flight attendant is like. Um, once again, congratulations. But until next time, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Bye. <laughs>